working parents with children, small family but big garbage. This is the story in every urban household in India today. Our cities are rapidly expanding. Small towns are becoming big cities. And the new middle class is a voracious consumer. Bangalore produces 2,000 tons of garbage each day. That's several hundred truckloads of garbage. Delhi and Mumbai produce nearly 7,000 tons each, over three times that of Bangalore every day. Once it goes into garbage, people forget about it. But the garbage hasn't really disappeared. It's just gone out of sight. What happens to garbage then is another story. Open waste dumps influence the uh, people living around them in numerous ways. The groundwater becomes contaminated, the air becomes polluted, the surface water bodies also get polluted because of the uh, contaminants leaching out from the waste dump. This is the usual sort of open dump on the outskirts of the city. The garbage is open to rain, sun, wind, stray animals, untreated and unfenced. It is one huge and a dangerous cocktail. It pollutes the air and water with both biological pathogens and chemical pollutants. Diseases like, you know, uh, typhoid fever, diarrhea, gastroenteritis, those are the kind of diseases which can breed out there. Now, apart from this, basically they can also contaminate the groundwater. And groundwater can, uh, if in fact, if contaminated, can lead to a lot of diseases. Again, to go back, polio is one of them, diarrhea, gastroenteritis, hepatitis. Mosquito breeding, if you have in such places, you can have diseases like dengue, you can have diseases like chikungunya. These are the main two diseases. If the water bodies are large, you can also have diseases like malaria. Each day that the garbage rots here, the waste decomposes releasing more and more heavy metals and toxic chemicals. These seep into the aquifers, into the rivers, and contaminate both ground and surface water. An ideal site is one where the groundwater table is deep below the ground surface and is not being used as a resource for drinking water. Another uh, good attribute with a, a site is that if you can have impermeable soil beneath the site, sites which are away from habitation, sites which are away from highways, sites which are away from rivers and water bodies are beneficial for the purpose of waste disposal. In India, most landfills do not follow the basic rules set by the government. The only possible exception is this model landfill in Hyderabad, which is being operated as per scientific norms. So, a well-managed landfill is one that has impermeable lining, isolated fenced location, waste is compacted, waste is covered daily with compacted clay, a system to collect and treat leachate. The 12th Finance Commission has devolved 2,500 crores to be spent in five-year period. Jawaharlal Nehru National Urban Renewal Mission provide for solid waste management facilities and the cities under this mission can access funds available uh, with the Government of India for putting up waste disposal uh, mechanisms. There is a need for smaller municipalities to come together and put up uh, common waste disposal facilities on a regional basis. 
uh, that would uh, help uh, optimize uh, the uh, resources that are available for putting up these facilities and the st uh, state and the center can easily kind of uh, support this initiative. So, the choice is ours. Do we want this kind of a landfill or that?